Welcome everyone my name is Kishan Rabdiya let's start all about the Narendra Modi series 11th topic Modi's popularity and prospects for re-election Prime Minister Modi has been in office since 2014 and has been a popular leader among the Indian population He has been credited for implementing economic and social reforms such as the goods and services tax which has helped to boost the Indian economy Additionally, Modi has also been known for his strong stance on national security and has taken strong measures to protect the country from external threats. Despite some criticisms of Modi's policies, such as the controversial demonetization of high-value banknotes, his popularity remains high among the Indian population. A recent survey conducted by the Pew Research Center found that 84% of Indians have a favorable view of Modi, making him one of the most popular leaders in the world. Modi's popularity, coupled with the Bharatiya Janata Party's strong performance in recent state elections, has made him a strong candidate for re-election in the upcoming national elections. The BJP has been able to build a strong coalition of supporters, and Modi's charismatic leadership style has helped to rally support for the party. In 2019, the Indian Election Commission has reported that around 900 million people were eligible to vote, out of which around 66% of them voted. With the use of data, the BJP was able to target specific voter segments and tailor their campaigns to reach them effectively. His strong leadership style and emphasis on national security have resonated with many Indians, and his party, the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP), has been able to build a strong coalition of supporters. The upcoming national elections in India will be crucial for Modi's re-election prospects. The BJP will be looking to build on its strong performance in recent state elections while the opposition parties will be working to build a coalition of their own. The outcome of the elections will depend on a variety of factors including the performance of the economy, public perception of Modi's policies and the ability of the opposition parties to mount a strong challenge. We will have to wait and see what happens in the coming months but one thing is for sure it will be an interesting time for Indian politics. One of the biggest factors that will impact Modi's re-election prospects is the state of the Indian economy. While Modi has been credited for his efforts in improving infrastructure and attracting foreign investment, his policies on issues such as the Citizenship Amendment Act and the National Register of Citizens have been met with criticism and sparked protests. While the opposition parties have been working hard to build a coalition of their own, they will have to present a united front and a clear alternative to Modi's policies to have a chance at winning the elections. The state of the Indian economy, public perception of Modi's policies, and the ability of the opposition parties to mount a strong challenge will all play a crucial role in determining the outcome of the elections. We will have to wait and see what happens in the coming months, but one thing is for sure, it will be an interesting time for Indian politics. Modi and the BJP have been known for their effective use of social media platforms to connect with voters and mobilize support. They have been able to build a strong online presence and use digital marketing strategies to reach a wider audience. On the other hand, the opposition parties have been criticized for their lack of effective digital campaigns. They will have to step up their online presence and develop effective digital strategies if they want to have a chance at winning the elections. These regional parties have a significant influence in certain states and can play a decisive role in the formation of the next government. Modi and the BJP will have to work on building alliances with these regional parties to secure a majority in the parliament. The state of the Indian economy, public perception of Modi's policies, the ability of the opposition parties to mount a strong challenge, the role of social media and digital campaigns, and the role of regional parties will all play a crucial role in determining the outcome of the elections. The youth population in India is a significant demographic and is expected to play a crucial role in determining the outcome of the elections. Modi and the BJP have been focusing on reaching out to the youth through various initiatives such as the Make in India campaign which aims to create jobs and opportunities for the youth. They have been trying to connect with the youth and present a clear alternative to Modi's policies. In conclusion, Modi's popularity and the BJP's strong performance in recent state elections make him a strong candidate for re-election, but there are still many factors that could impact the outcome of the national elections. We will have to wait and see what happens in the coming months but one thing is for sure it will be an interesting time for Indian politics The opposition parties have been trying to capitalize on this issue and have been highlighting the need for inclusivity and secularism Modi and the BJP have been facing criticism for their policies and actions that are seen as divisive and discriminatory towards minority communities particularly Muslims According to a survey conducted by the Center for the Study of Developing Societies (CSDS) in 2019, only 7% of the Muslim population has a favorable view of Modi. This could be a significant factor in the upcoming elections as Muslims constitute around 14% of the Indian population. Moreover, the role of the rural population in the upcoming elections will also be crucial. 
The rural population in India forms a significant demographic, with around 70% of the Indian population living in rural areas. They have been facing issues such as lack of access to basic amenities, unemployment, and low income. According to the National Sample Survey Office NSSO, report, the unemployment rate in rural areas was at its highest in 45 years, standing at 6.1% in 2017-2018. It's important to note that according to polls conducted by the Center for the Study of Developing Societies CSDS, in 2019, the BJP's popularity has decreased by 13% among the rural population. According to data from the International Monetary Fund IMF, India's GDP growth rate has been slowing down in recent years, standing at 4.5% in 2019 and projected to be at minus 10.3% in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the 2017 report by the International Press Institute EP, India ranked 136 out of 180 countries in terms of press freedom. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more updates on Indian politics and current events. This series next topic is Modi's popularity and the factors that have contributed to his political success. To malate he next video pay thanks for watching subscribing liking. Love you dil se. Bye have a great life. Share this video with all social media friends family and every Indian people. Bye love you all.